Okay. This little dun filly's a lot more bothered. She, uh, sometimes it just happens that way. We try to catch him without roping him, but I went ahead and threw a rope around her neck. And what we're going to do with this lesson, it might be a little bit different than what people think about roping horses. All I'm going to do is put pressure on her till she looks at me, then I'm going to walk up there and scratch her. If she has to leave, I'm going to let her leave. It's a lot like fly fishing. If they're going, let them go. But when they give you a little, release the pressure on that too. And we'll see if we can get her to come up to us. Here we go. show them that being with you is the easier of the deal. You just have to take your time with it. Even though you got a rope on their neck, that don't mean you need to be Roy Rogers or something. What you need to do is every time they look at you, call that a give, and then rub them for that. And if you keep building on that, you will get what you want. I'm just blocking her here so she can't run off. Then maybe so I'll pull this face over and rub her. Let her know it's okay. And maybe so I'll pull it over here again and rub her. And 
let her know it's okay. This is the beginning. And I'm going to try to stay up here in a spot where she can't get away from me with her mind. If, we, if she looks away like she's doing there, try to get in a spot where we can make her look at it. And there, rub her when she sees us. Lots of rubs. Jimmy, all I want, there, nice, and every time I come up here to scratch her, I make sure that rope's loose, I don't want to skin these horses up, and I don't want to hurt their brains, stay in front of that eye, try to stay in front of that eye, and make her, Make her look at me. She's moving away, so I'll move. I've got to be with her before she can be with me. Make her look, and then rub her, just like that. But pretty quick, she'll find out that I'm not going to go away, and being with me is a pretty easy deal. Step is all I want. And it don't matter where that step is, I just want her to be unstuck. When they stick, they hurt themselves. If she wants to go backwards, I'll go backwards with her. Make her look, make her look, and then release. Make her look, and then release. Yeah. Very nice. Make her look. Make her look, step, no matter where that step is, she's not stuck, it's all good, release, try to get her away from the camera, make her look, make her look and then release, make her look and then release, look and release, look and release. Walk up there and catch her. Take the pressure off that rope and rub on her. Let her know this part's the good part. Elsie just lost her mom. Yeah. And maybe so. Come over here. Another step this way, maybe. There. Walk up and release it. Take all the pressure off. Maybe so, make her look, and then release. <coughs> make her look. And then release. See how she's turning her head away to avoid me? All we want her to do is look at us and concentrate, focus. Acknowledge our presence. All the fancy stuff will come down the line if we can get there. There's a step. Walk in there and release it. Take all the pressure off. Yeah. Find all them spots that makes it hard to halter her and get them good and rubbed. There. Try to block that nose with my rope a little bit now. She's had this on long enough, maybe so we can help her with her nose. Make me 
Okay, release, look and release. It don't matter if she backs up, as long as she's looking at me. Make her look at me. There's some horses that weaning process bothers them more than others. And the ones that are really bothered, those are the ones that people can hurt. Because you got to ask for less. It may seem ridiculous, but when she gets this figured out, she'll have it forever. And we'll get her over being bothered at the same time. So we're helping her cope with all the injustices in life, you know. We're taking that mama horse's place, so we got to be just as fair as mom was. But we also have to be just as demanding because we are taking the place of that mama horse. And for this filly to become a productive citizen, she has to get past that ordeal and get on with this one. Yeah, it's not really an ordeal, it's just a different life. When you change something's life completely, sometimes it takes a little extra time and a little, little extra compassion. But you will be rewarded. When this filly gives in, she'll give in 100%. As long as you don't hurt her. There. What I'm doing there is I'm starting to help her with that nose. Getting her to step across from that nose pressure instead of that pressure on her throat. There. And like I said, it don't matter at this point what direction she goes as long as she's not stuck. There's been millions and millions of horses to learn how to lead with the rope around their neck. Every buckaroo outfit in this country has got horses they can rope and lead them. So this isn't unjust. It's just another way of doing it. But if you've got hands like Fred Flintstone, you can hurt them. You've got to feel. You have to be with them. Before they can be with you, you have to be with them. Every time this horse gives, I take all the pressure away. Every bit of it. So she'll learn that when she feels this rope, she can take a step forward. with these little baby horses is just a little bit different than working with two-year-olds. These baby horses are a lot more fragile and this is a lot bigger shock to their system. They haven't lived very long. So you can't
can't expect them to make the change overnight. The first lesson is nothing more than letting them know you ain't going to kill them. First lesson for this filly will be if she comes to me from that pull. I just want her to come to me with that pull today. But she didn't even want me to touch her. She didn't want to. No. She didn't want to accept me in her world at all. I gotta let her know that I'm not gonna hurt her. That's more important than what... That's more important than any kind of maneuver at this point is for her to know that I'm not gonna hurt her. Keep trying to get up to that eye.
see what happens when you wait for him. Is she perfect? No. But she knows another method of behavior. She's just getting a taste of how I can fix that pressure for her. She knows if I tell her, if I show her, that she can come up to me and the pressure will go away pretty quick. I'm the answer to all her problems. And that's what I want. Try to get this eye. I'm going to have to flip my rope over so I can get it from this side. so I can get it. Now, just pull and release till she looks. Pull and release till she looks. There. Now go catch her again. Switch to